As a renowned series of armored vehicles, the Swiss Piranha armored vehicle has gained unanimous recognition from numerous users worldwide. Its comprehensive combat capabilities have been highly praised, making it the most popular series of wheeled armored vehicles currently. Like other weapon series, the Piranha also has various chassis and upper configurations to adapt to different combat needs. Initially, the chassis extensively used a 6x6 and 8x8 structure, which is currently the most widely used chassis structure in the world. However, in the 1990s, Switzerland began developing the Piranha 3 series, which adopted a new 10x10 chassis. The development of the Piranha 10x10 combat armored vehicle can be traced back to December 1992. Due to the rich experience of the design team, they decided to manufacture a prototype in April of the following year and completed the prototype by the end of the year. Shortly after, they began showcasing it to foreign customers. In essence, the 10x10 chassis is not much different from the 8x8 chassis. It is like elongating the vehicle body and adding an extra pair of load-bearing wheels. However, it has significant performance improvements for the armored vehicle itself. According to the developers, compared to the 4-axle 8x8 armored vehicle, the 5-axle 10x10 armored vehicle strengthens the chassis' load-bearing capacity, which brings convenience to the arrangement of various equipment and armored structures in the vehicle body. While expanding the internal space, the armor protection also slightly improves. More wheels mean better vehicle mobility and more comfortable off-road capabilities. At the same time, when dealing with damage from shells, landmines, and other threats, the redundancy of components is higher, and losing one or two wheels does not affect basic mobility. While enjoying these benefits, the armored vehicle still retains the flexibility of the 8x8 chassis, but it may have higher costs and require more maintenance. The initial configuration of the armored vehicle was the French TML 105 turret, with a main gun of a 105mm rifled gun that can fire NATO standard ammunition. During the testing period, the gun fired 100 rounds. In fact, for a mature artillery piece, the gun itself does not need testing. The testing is more about whether the vehicle body is suitable for this gun. The experiments proved that the 10x10 vehicle body can fully accommodate the artillery. Even when the turret is rotated 90 degrees, the armored vehicle can still travel at high speeds off-road. Throughout the entire mobility test, the armored vehicle traveled a total of 7,500 kilometers, proving its reliability. The first user was Sweden, which received three vehicles in 1997. Due to different purposes, the designer installed different sensors, expanded the internal space, and added additional auxiliary power devices to the armored vehicles. Since the first-generation TML-105 turret did not have bi-directional stabilization, the armored vehicle needed to stop to fire. Later, Switzerland developed a new turret with an electric dual-axis stabilization system. The gunner's sight also has stabilization capabilities, which can be replaced by a stabilizer for a daytime thermal imager, giving the tank the same anti-hunting capabilities as a first-generation main battle tank. The vehicle carries 26 rounds of ammunition. The designers also plan to install an automatic loading system to replace manual loading, increasing the maximum firing rate of the main gun to 8 rounds per minute. The auxiliary weapon of the new turret is still a 7.62mm machine gun, but an additional machine gun with a protective cover can be installed on the top of the turret. There are 14 Galix grenade launchers around the turret, which can launch grenades, smoke grenades, decoy grenades, etc. The turret is welded and can withstand attacks from 14.5mm ammunition. If users feel that the protection is insufficient, it can be appropriately reinforced. After the maturity of the 10x10 chassis, armored command vehicles, self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, and wheeled infantry fighting vehicles equipped with 40mm Bofors guns are also under development based on this chassis. It has now developed into a completely new weapon system and has already received some orders internationally. The Piranha 310 x 10-wheeled combat armored vehicle has an empty weight of about 18 tons, a length of 8.75 meters, a width of 2.6 meters, a height of 2.99 meters, a ground clearance of 0.57 meters, a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, and a maximum range of 800 kilometers. Currently, 8x8 chassis still dominate the world's heavy armored vehicles, such as the South African Roycat, etc. 
However, armored vehicles also need to enhance their protection or install bidirectional stabilizers for artillery. The additional weight from these enhancements will ultimately be borne by the chassis. Perhaps in another 10 or 20 years, the 10x10 wheel chassis will become mainstream, and armored vehicles will have even stronger capabilities.